Hallelujah. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah. With our resurrected Christ with us today, we see hope, living hope in our lives. And that is why we will call upon the Lord today who is worthy to be praised. Let us come in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known. From you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, the first commandment is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Dearly beloved, let us come into the presence of the Almighty God, praying together as we bow our hearts. Together, most, most merciful, merciful God, God, I confess that I have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what I have done and by what I have left undone. I have not loved you with my whole heart. I have not loved my neighbor as myself. I am truly sorry and I humbly repent for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on me and forgive me, that I may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. The Almighty God have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Proclaiming our praises and adoration to the Lord, let us proclaim the Gloria in excelsis. Together, glory, glory to, to God, God in, in the, the highest and, and peace to his people on earth. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give, give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who in the Paschal mystery established the new covenant of reconciliation, grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A proclamation of the Word of God from the book of Exodus, chapter 16, beginning at verse 10. It came about as Aaron spoke to the whole congregation of the sons of Israel that they looked toward the wilderness, and behold, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. 
And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, I have heard the grumblings of the sons of Israel. Speak to them, saying, At twilight you shall eat meat, and in the morning you shall be filled with bread, and you shall know that I am the Lord your God. So it came about at evening that the quails came up and covered the camp, and in the morning there was a layer of dew around the camp. When the layer of dew evaporated, behold, on the surface of the wilderness there was a fine flake-like thing, fine as the frost on the ground. When the sons of Israel saw it, they said to one another, What is it? For they did not know what it was. And Moses said to them, It is the bread which the Lord has given you to eat. This is what the Lord has commanded. Gather of it every man as much as he should eat. You shall take an omer apiece according to the number of persons each of you has in his tent. The sons of Israel did so, and some gathered much and some little. When they measure it with an omer, he who gathered much had no excess, and he who had gathered little had no lack. Every man gathered as much as he should eat. Moses said to them, Let no man leave any of it until morning. But they did not listen to Moses, and some left part of it until morning and eat bread worms, and became foul, and Moses was angry with them. They gathered it morning by morning, every man as much as he should eat, but when the sun grew heat, it would melt. The word of the Lord. Stand for the responsorial psalm, which is taken from Psalm 18. Psalm 18, verses 1 to 19. I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord, the Lord is my, is my rock, rock and, and my fortress, fortress and, and my, my deliverer, deliverer. My, my God, God my, my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation. My stronghold. I call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised, and I am saved from my enemies. The cords of death encompassed me, and the torrents of ungodliness terrified me. The cords of Sheol surrounded me. The snares of death confronted me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried to my God for help. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry for help before him came into his ears. Then the earth shook and quaked, and the foundations of the mountains were trembling and were shaken because he was angry. Smoke went up out of his nostrils, and fire from his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came, came down with thick darkness under his feet. He rode upon a cherub and flew, and he sped upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his hiding place, his canopy around him, darkness of waters, thick clouds of the skies. From the brightness before him passed his thick clouds, hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the Most High uttered His voice, hailstones and coals of fire. He sent out His arrows and scattered them, and lightning flashes in abundance and routed them. Then the channels of water appeared, 
and the foundations of the world were laid bare. At your rebuke, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils. He sent from on high, he took me, he drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. They confronted me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into a broad place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Please be seated. A proclamation of the word of God from the first letter of St. Peter, chapter 2, beginning at verse 11. Beloved, I urge you as aliens and strangers to abstain from fleshly lusts, which wage war against the soul. Keep your behavior excellent among the Gentiles, so that in the things in which they slander you as evildoers, they may, because of your good deeds, as they observe them, glorify God in the day of visitation. Submit yourselves for the Lord's sake to every human institution, whether to a king as the one in authority, or to governors as sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and the praise of those who do right. For such is the will of God, that by doing right, you may silence the ignorance of foolish men. Act as free men, and do not use your freedom as a covering for evil, but use it as a bond slave of God. Honor all people. Love the brotherhood. Fear God. Honor the king. Servants, be submissive to your masters with all respect, not only to those who are good and gentle, but also to those who are unreasonable. For this finds favor, if for the sake of conscience toward God, a person bears up under sorrows when suffering unjustly. For what credit is there if, when you sin and are harshly treated, you endure it with patience? But if, when you do what is right and suffer for it, you patiently endure it, this finds favor with God. For you have been called for this purpose, since Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example for you to follow in his footsteps. Who committed no sin, nor was any deceit found in his mouth. And while being reviled, he did not revile in return. While suffering, he uttered no threats and kept entrusting himself to him who judges righteously. And he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. For by his wounds, you were healed. For you were continually straying like sheep, but now you have returned to the shepherd and guardians of your souls. The word of the Lord. Be stand. Lord be with you. 
May the Lord be on our minds, our lips, and our hearts as we hear his holy gospel. The holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John, chapter 15. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Today we will be reading from verses 12 through 27. And Jesus said, This is my commandment, that you love one another, just as I have loved you. Greater love is no one than this, that one lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you slaves, for the slave does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and appointed you that you would go and bear fruit, and that your fruit would remain, so that whatever you ask of the Father in my name, he may give to you. This I command you, that you love one another. If the world hates you, you know that it has hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, because of this the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, a slave is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will keep yours also. But all these things they will do to you for my name's sake because they do not know the one who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not have sinned. But now they have no excuse for their sin. He who hates me hates my father also. If I had not done among them the works which no one else did, they would not, they would not have sinned. But now they have both seen and hated me, and my father as well. But they have done this to fulfill the word that is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. When the helper comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, that is, the Spirit of truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will testify about me. And you will testify also, because you have been with me from the beginning. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. You may be seated. Great is our God and truly greatly to be praised. We are here today as God's people on this 12th day of Easter. 38 more days of celebration. And may I remind you of the words of then Pope John Paul II or now Saint John Paul II. He said in one of his messages, do not give yourself over to despair. You are the Easter people, and hallelujah is your song. You are the Easter people. We are sons of the resurrection. Let's not act as if it's still March 29. Tapos na po ang Marso, ika-29 ng Marso. Ano po yung 29 ng Marso? Bierne Santo. No longer. Yes, we grieved. There was that, that remembrance of what Christ has done and our identification with that. We were crucified with Him. We died with Him. We were buried with Him. But we also were raised with Him. And as Paul said in Colossians, he says, if you have been raised up with Christ, 
Colossians 3.1, keep seeking. In other words, wag mong tantanan dahil you are the Easter people. You are, your whole makeup is made up of the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. And we have been made that way, a new creation. Sabi nga sa Revelation 21, the, Jesus himself said, I have made all things new. And this is the new creation that he has given to us. And so it's, but natural that as God's people, we rejoice because of the abundant grace that continues to pour out, be poured out upon us. Last Sunday in many churches was the Sunday called the Sunday of the Feast of the Divine Mercy. And talagang ang kop lamang na we saw Psalm 133 as one of the Psalms that was read last Sunday. Because in Psalm 133, pinakikita po sa atin doon kung papaano ang pakikitungo natin sa isa't isa dahil sa ginawa ng Panginoon. Ay parang langis daw na ibinuo sa ulo, na dumadaloy sa buong kasuotan hanggang sa mga paa. That is the mercy of God. It is the abundant grace of God that continues to just flow out in our lives. And the beautiful thing about this is that God's mercy, which opens to us a life of forgiveness. We saw that last Sunday. The mercy of God is a life of forgiveness. But we also saw that the mercy of God is a life of faith. We saw how faith will begin to see that in our lives, begin to realize that in our lives. Today, I would like to just continue this thought on the mercy of God as we look at the gospel today. Jesus in his, again, wonderful discourse in John 15 after the beautiful parable of the vine and the vineyard, the vine dresser and the branches. He continues to say, you did not choose me. I chose you and appointed you that you would go and bear fruit and that your fruit would remain. So that whatever you ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. The divine mercies of God is his choice of us. We did not choose him. He chose us. And the all of scriptures is God's relentless, passionate love of mercy, seeking the lost. Seeking, as we saw in the life of Zacchaeus, that which was lost. In, we, found, we saw this over in Zacchaeus 19, uh, in Luke 19, where Jesus sinadya niyang pumunta sa Jericho because he sought for the lost. In John chapter 4, we saw Jesus intending to go to Galilee fast through Samaria in order that he may meet the Samaritan woman. Because Jesus not only loves sinners, he likes sinners. He is fond of sinners. In Luke chapter 5, he went to the shores of the Sea of Galilee, and he saw fishermen. And he began to call them out, choosing them. And he said, from now on, you will be fishers of men. Lord, depart from me, said Peter. I am a sinful man. But that's the whole point of Christ's coming. Christ likes sinners. He likes sinners that we can begin to realize the fullness of his life. When we were starting what we called then as CTC in back in 1981, there were many things that we were talking about. At least they were. I was just hearing that. I was not involved in the decision making. But they said that you have to uh, pass the, what we had then as the LSS and then the New Life series. And then you can enroll the CTC. But one thing that came out in that discussion is this thought. 
every enrollee must have a qualification that he should like sinners. He should have a fondness for the lost. He should have a desire to seek and to save that which was lost. Because this is the whole concept of what the resurrection is. It is God who is the lover. He did not come, he said there, so that we would be condemned. But that through him, the world might be saved. The lost world might be found. We today, all of us, sinners as we all are, have been now sought out by Christ. Remember in 1 John chapter 4, verse 19, we love because He first loved us. It is always God's initiative. What I am, what you are, what you do, what I do today is all because of that over flowing, abundant mercies of God. May we not forget that because it is something that real, makes us to realize and makes us to rejoice. Why give ourselves over to despair? We are the Easter people and hallelujah is our song. Praise is the language of the kingdom of God. That why, that's why the psalmist says, I call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. And that calling upon him was born out of God being his, our rock and our fortress. And why he has chosen us to be his own people. And then he said, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised and I will be saved from my enemies. You know, we see so many examples here in the Old Testament, the life of Israel, how they journeyed. And we see here in Exodus 16, which was read, how God continued to provide. That everyone had abounding grace exactly as they need it. The, the provisions of God, even in the wilderness. And we saw this even in 1 Peter chapter 2, verses, uh, which we read in verse 12 up to verse 24, 25. There is so much about the message of Easter that should bring excitement to us. It should bring a certain zeal that when we read Psalm 18, we think God is mad. He said his, it says his coals were kindled by it. God was there trying to work out. And we, we see this. That was how I read it before. It says, the earth shook and quaked, and the mountains of, and the foundation of the mountains were trembling and were shaken because he was angry. And so we focus on the anger rather than to focus on the real reason, the overarching principle of God's manifestation. Everything that's happening around us is because of his mercy, his passion. He has a zeal, a holy discontent, if you want to call it. As we see when Jesus was baptized, it says the heavens were opened, which is a weak translation. Sabi nung binaptismo si Christ, pinunit daw ang kalangitan. That was the exact word. It was like God was so zealous to say, let's do it, guys. Let's finish the work because I want them. I want to save them. I want them again to be in, our, to be in, my, in the place where I am. There may they be also. And that's why we can come today in this time of Easter. It is a beautiful example of God's great work of love. Remember, He's fond of you. Sinner as we may all be, he is fond of us. We begin to realize, God, how excited God is whenever we are continually waking up and every action we do, every thought we think, every word we say produces an excitement in the Lord. We make mistakes, we fail, but God continues to take us by the hand and say, come on, let's do it and Make sure that you do it well. Because He is the God 
as someone said, of the second chance. Failing once does not end the world, even twice, because He continues to pour out His divine mercy upon us. Do not give yourself over to despair. You are Easter people, and hallelujah is your song. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Please stand. Now let us respond in faith as we confess the Apostles' Creed. Together, I, I believe in God, God the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was, he was conceived, conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church and for the world. Almighty Father, we lift before you your holy Catholic Church, that you would lead us in truth, baptize us in love, and unite us in spirit. We pray for her leaders, especially Bishop Craig and Bishop Ariel. That they may, with one voice, minister your life to your people and the world. We lift before you the people of this community, this nation, and the world. That we may honor one another and serve the common good. We pray for our governmental leaders, especially President Marcos that you would lead them in the ways of justice and peace. We lift before you all who suffer in body, mind, or spirit, that you would send your comfort and grace upon them. Father, once more, we lift up unto you the names of these, yes. our brothers and sisters in the Lord. Father, they are going through, um, whatever they're going through, Lord, any physical affliction or sickness or illnesses, Father, we believe that they are healed by the Amen. stripes of the Lord yes, Jesus Lord. Christ. Thank and as you, we Father. confess, as we say their names, <laughs> may they find comfort and grace in the wounds that you have borne. Amen. We pray for the healing of Gloria, Mamtes, Charmaine, Grace, Jose, Mitch, Kenneth, Merlin, Fe, Jemima, Maria Loreto, Fur, Dennis, Antonio, Matilde, Julius, Rosma, Mitzil, Elsie, Becca, Virgilie, Marisa, Vic, Carrie, Marinel, Rodolfo, Christine Ann and Lucas, Preciel, Regine, Andrea, Shane, Nelia, Randy, Jay, and Daphne. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Give to the departed eternal rest. Grant that we may share with them in your everlasting kingdom. Together, let us lift up to God our corporate petition. Almighty, Almighty God, God and King, King our, our dwelling, dwelling place in all generations, generations owner, owner of the earth and all it contains, grant unto us our allotted, our allotted inheritance, inheritance, we pray, and, and the, the grace to build upon it, facilities in which your people being restored in your image and ever growing in love for you might become a habitation of your presence and ministers of your life to the glory of Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns together with you and the Holy Spirit one God now and forever Amen grant unto this generation everlasting Father the grace to believe 
that Jesus is the Christ, and that believing we may have life in his name. We ask this through Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. Beloved of God, the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Now, let us share the sign of peace to those who are around us. Peace. Let us come now and bring our offerings to the Lord this day. Oh, this is my commandment that to love one another that their joy may be full that their joy may be full that your joy may be full this is my command and that to love one another that their joy may be full this is my This is my commandment that to love one another, that your joy may be full, that your joy may be full, that your joy may be full. This is my commandment that to love one another, that your joy may be my commandment that to love one another that to joy may be full this is my commandment that to love one another that to joy may be full the doxology together praise, praise God, God from whom, whom all blessings flow, flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him, above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we receive this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become the body of Christ. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in our Lord's divinity who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we receive this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become the blood of Christ. Blessed, Blessed be, God be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we bring these tithes and offerings before you. They will be used in your church for the work you've set before us and for the furthering of your kingdom. Lord, by your mercies, wash away our nakedness and cleanse us from all our sin. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a spirit in my spirit. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father, 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. But chiefly, are we bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. For he is the true Paschal Lamb who was sacrificed for us and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death, he destroyed death. And by his rising to life again, he has won for us everlasting life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy. Lord God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your words spoken through the prophets, and above all, in the Word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days, you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him, you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him, you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, and out of death into life. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will, will come, come again. again. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Remember your servants, Craig, our patriarch, and Ariel, our bishop, all the clergy and all your faithful people. In the fullness of time, Put all things in subjection under your Christ and bring us to that heavenly country where with all your saints 
we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him, with him, and in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah! Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah! Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Jesus died for you. And feed on him in your hearts with thanksgiving. Thank you, Father, for the precious life you have given us to partake of. The body and blood of Christ.
Let us pray. Eternal, Eternal God, God, Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Savior Jesus Christ. Christ. And you, you have, have fed, fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. And blood. Send, Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. 